uh, mourning the alleged death of his lover. Watch. This is your mountain now, baby. It took you away from me. And I hate it. Beautiful as it is. I'm having a hard time saying goodbye. I, uh... I keep pretending you're there and I'm telling you how it is. But you're not. You're, you're never there. I, I just wish I could have seen your face one more time or been holding you. Well, we do try to get things off to a rousing start. Whew. Fortunately, everything couldn't be better in the life of the gentleman who plays Cruz Castillo. Let's find out why. Please welcome our man of the hour, A. Martinez. <laughs> oh, I just noticed. There's no little hoo -ha. Oh, he, he, uh -huh. yeah. I, I, did you just forget that? I forgot it today. Oh, I was just asking. I, I didn't see the... The little stud in your ear. Yeah. Yeah, and that's become kind of a trademark for you. Yeah, Cruz can't wear it, so I have to take it out every day, and sometimes I forget to put it back oh. on. Oh. Yeah. I remember going round and round with you. I don't know where we were about this A. Martinez business. I think we were working together somewhere, and I said, all right, what does the A stand for? He said, it doesn't stand for anything. And I said, isn't there a dot after? <laughs> well, I spent 15 minutes on that. Didn't get any further than uh, I probably am going to get right now. Well, so give me some background on why it's A, because that's what people call you. Right, I, I go a. by A, right. Uh, right. My grandfather is named Adolfo, and um, he named that, uh, he gave his firstborn son that name also. They called him A.D. or Junior, and that man is my father, and uh, he passed the name on down to me, and I was... Being the third one in line, I, I was always known as little A, or model A, or A bone, or A frame, or <laughs> A whatever. <laughs> Quaint custom. A in general. But, yeah. but it really is Adolfo then. Yeah, originally. Calling your father and your grandfather. Yeah. yeah, I was called, a lot of times I got called Adolf in school. Right, but you have what, four brothers and a sister? Uh, yes, exactly. Now, now, everybody got nicknames in the family, and my understanding is that you're real thrilled at just being called A. Yeah, I got off easy, actually, just being <laughs> A bone, and everybody... Uh, I got a brother named Bill who was uh, Billy the Pooh and uh, Mike Lyon, and uh, Greg became Keechee somehow. I don't know how that happened. Uh, Dandy Doll and Ricky became Tigger. And, uh, you know, after you get to be a teenager, you don't want to be called those things anymore. I guess. It's hard to shake them. I don't know what it is. I know from my experience with my grandmother, uh, her name was Ida, and I don't know how I got, to, and I'm, I'm sure I was attempting to get to Grandma, but she came out Nemo. Mimo. Yeah, she was Mimo for, for all of her life to me. I mean, just, you wouldn't think of calling her anything else. That's great. Were you the oldest? Yes, I was. Of the uh, children? Yeah, Did, I was. was. that a lot of responsibility uh, on you? I think it was, and it, I'm really glad to have been the oldest. I think uh, my parents were really uh, on their tiptoes when I showed up. I mean, I know I just became a father myself ten and a half months ago, and... Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it changes your life so drastically. I think that you really, uh, it forces you to start looking inside and figuring things out about yourself that maybe you hadn't bothered to think about before. Uh, and I noticed that, like, by the time my, my youngest brother came along, he was number six in line, that uh, he gets away with murder compared to what I got away with. And, you know, he can do just about anything, and I couldn't do hardly anything at all. Yeah. And when you were born, your dad was struggling to finish an education. Right. Uh, am I correct that you and he both started school the same day? He is a, a, a teacher? Or yes, he, you know? he's retired. And he was a principal and a, and, a, <clears throat> and a wonderful teacher, the kind of teacher that uh, his students would come back and seek out many years later to say thank you. Um, but he, when I was a little baby, he was a playground director and going to college at the same time holding in a full-time job and, and studying. And my first day of kindergarten was his first day uh, as a teacher. So we, went, we did the same day we went off. It was a great Yeah, now he was somewhat of a disciplinarian, was he not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, which is not to say that he was cold in any way, but he was, he's a real stern guy. He was uh, a paratrooper in the Second War. He was captured in the Battle of the Bulge and went through an, an extremely difficult experience escaping from the Germans. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he's a real serious guy. Yeah, now we've talked about tough love on the show many, many times, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not 
I would have to think your father wasn't even aware of tough love, but didn't he boot you out of the house at one point? Yeah, yeah, well, that's true, he did. He, uh, <laughs> he said to me, you can do whatever you want, if, but if you're going to keep doing what you're doing, you have to do it somewhere else. What were you doing? Well, I was just being a typical uh, teenager and trying to sow my wild oats, and mm -hmm. you know, I thought I knew everything and he didn't know anything, and he says, well, you know, if you think that's true, why don't you go prove it uh, somewhere else? And uh, he did me a favor. How long did that last? It lasted for a while, uh, and I was, you know, I, it was hard out there. Uh, and then, but then I finally uh, got my stuff together, and uh, we made up, and yeah. it, it worked out okay. Now I've known you before you were married. And I certainly know you since you've been married. You've been married what five years to yeah. Leslie, right? And uh, she has a career. Yes, yeah, she uh, sells uh, computers that do mm -hmm. uh, do graphics, and uh, she's back to work part time after the baby's been born. She's she's struggling with it though, there's trying something. to figure out. Uh, and there's uh, Dakota. Yeah. Is it Dakota Lee? Dakota Lee or Cody? Cody. Yeah, that was when he was a little younger. Obviously. And he's what ten months old now. Yeah. Now months. you mentioned uh, changes you go through as a father. Yeah, it's uh, boy, I'll tell you. I mean, I I see him looking at me, and I realize that. Uh, He's figuring stuff out about his own life already, and um, it makes you think, you know, it makes you start to examine everything you do. Plus, of course, uh, he's so inquisitive and so energetic, and he has this unerring sense of uh, pursuing whatever is the most dangerous object in any space. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, some, there's all these nice, easy, soft things he could deal with. He wants something that could hurt him inevitably. Yeah. You know? So we're chasing him around all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's a whole new experience. More children uh, planned? Yeah, uh, one of the most amazing things I ever heard anyone say was my wife say, I want to have another baby three days after she had Cody. Cody. Because I was there, and although she had a relatively easy time of it, it was by far the most difficult thing I have ever seen a person do. And I c couldn't imagine that three days later she was ready to uh, commit to doing it again, but she is. Well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be in there with the next one, too, uh, won't you? God willing. All right, let's yeah. talk about what we have today. We have the hottest choreographer in the business, um, and she does some of the greatest video uh uh, work, uh, mm. some of the biggest stars doing their videos. Peggy Lipton's back from Mod Squad, hey, Julie yeah. Barnes. Yeah. And uh, she's coming on after 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, sort of restarting her career, we've got a visit to Dollywood. Dr. Rosenfeld is here with uh, an examination, kind of a, a perspective on this link between breast cancer and alcohol, which has really just shocked everybody when it came out. And we've got a woman here who pulled her baby out of the water to drown, clinically dead for 45 minutes, and the baby survived. If she's now 10 years old, they'll both be here. So that and a lot more in today's edition of Our Magazine. Mm -hmm.